The database globally has been growing rapidly. With more and more data available at our disposal, how do you think that SDG goals can be made more effective and precise? There is large outflux from the highland of Himalayas to the lowland. Can you suggest the measures to min minimize this out migration from the highland to the lowlands in India? Crime against women is a serious problem. Which are the three major crime against women you would like to identify? Also give me the reason why you identify these as three most significant crime against women. In the post-COVID economic revival, there are many headwinds that we're facing. Which two headwinds you rate them as the strongest and what initiatives you recommend to handle them? India and Saudi Arabia have got long relationship. There are a lot of headways being made in the direction of our relationship between the two countries. What are the major points that India should be looking forward to for improving ties with Saudi Arabia? And what kind of initiatives we have made in the recent time? Recently, Madras High Court has given a judgment regarding Oroville Foundation. What is the basic issue? Do you know?
DBT is nearing a decade. How do you assess its uh, existence? And do you think that the objective for which it was conceived has actually been achieved? I would also like to hear from you some exclusive area where this DBT has uh, really been effective. Describe the main outcomes of the Chinese Part Communist Party Congress held in late October 2022. Inflation affects the potential of uh, investment. What are the key infrastructure that you think we should be focused upon for getting more private funds? Is hijab a feminist issue? What is your understanding about this issue going on in the country and what are the long term impact of this debate is likely to have on our society?